from the reports, apparently you had the culprit's details, but it took you, the police that is, more than a week to arrest them. Good evening uh, to you, uh, and also to our very good and uh, capable listeners. Vuyo, you know, there is no specific time that is set for a case to be finalized. When we investigate a case, our past there of is to do it effectively and arrest suspects and bring them to court. And we do so working with the NPA. And that is exactly what we are doing in this particular case. Let me also say, the issue of us having the suspects, but we took a week. That is not correct. We never had any suspects, but yes, there was a case that was opened, which then you know, compelled us to institute the investigation, and that is exactly what we are doing currently. So how long did it take you to find um, the alleged culprits? It took us a few days to get the alleged suspects, which, of course, it was I believe that this was a compliment to us as opposed to the allegations that we had them, but we did not do anything. We are telling that we never had any success, but the investigation that led us to the arrest of those that we brought them to court. However, the court said we need to go into some of the things that we have been directed to do. Hence, now they have been released, but then we are continuing to do that. Well, if the court has asked you to do things that you hadn't done, uh, that to a layperson suggests that uh, you didn't do your work from the word go. The work has been done. Number one, you should remember that our work started from opening a case, and that has been done. That is to show that we are doing our job. Number two is to assign an investigator on the particular case, and that has been done. Statements have been taken. He is a doctor that is busy swelling. That means that our work has been done. We are concerned with the NPA, NPA as I have answered earlier on. We have been directed to take this as court by the court. However, when they, when, 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 when they arrest at court, the court also found that there are things that both of us ourselves, together with the NPA, we need to tighten up for us to have a good case. We are then directed to say, more than two, one, two, three. And the suspects thereof cannot then be, 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 be placed under an arrest thereof. We need to release them and to continue with our investigation currently. That has been directed by the court. Well, the reason a lot of people would find it difficult to uh, believe uh, some of uh, the things you're saying is because certainly according to Nelumoni, uh, who was the second victim in uh, this uh, instance, he claims that when police arrived, um, they told them to go to the police station because they said they were heading to another scene and they happened to stumble upon them. Let me also clarify this point for you. We are calling on this witness to work with the police, but, you know, you must not must stop now to go and talk to many people about this particular case. We are, we are, we are getting media people that are with the different versions that are said to have been given by himself. And we ourselves also as police for the different versions. So we want to call on him to say, whatever he has is very careful because that has to be used as evidence before court. Coming to the issue that when the police arrive at the scene, they were directed to court to go to the police station. Yes, it's true. Police were called out somewhere to the head of an accident. They stumbled on this particular case. Unfortunately, the task has settled by the time when police arrived. And everybody seemed to connect. So we just told the guy, go to the police station so that you can report the case on whatever what happened here. So that what happened here should be investigated. That was a directive from the police. They did went to the police station because the case had to be opened there. And they were not fired from the police to the, uh, to the police station for that matter. A case was then registered uh, as they were talking about this. However, I am not yet about to talk about that, but what is contained on the case was the business of the investigation. 
Uh, Brigadier, the line is not great, but I have to ask you this, because this incident is happening uh, in the same area where we had that incident of Theo Jackson and Vellum uh, was Hazen and the, uh, the coffin assault case. Just how widespread are these kinds uh, of incidents in that part of the country? Well, I wouldn't say as to whether they are widespread. But yes, from here and there, they do happen. And as they happen, ourselves as police, our job is to investigate as we have done on the case, which is just making that they've sent these people to run this case for a long time. So some of these cases, you know, you find that they have taken it out, put it on the media, people should not come to us. That's where we are happy for that question. And we can use that question to send the message to say, if ever these cases are happening behind the backdrop of our school, we only want committee members to come and support those cases so that we can go and investigate them. Brigadier Leonard Chachi, thanks very much for talking to us. He is the Mpumalanga uh, South African Police Services uh, spokesperson.